All right, so in this video, we're going to start proving Euler's theorem. And the theorem we're highlighting right here is that one, um, if you have a circuit, it must be connected and have no vertices of odd degree. And two, a path must be also connected and have two vertices of odd degree. So two vertices of odd degree. So we're just going to start this proof in this video and then I think finish it up in a second video. The way we're going to, to prove this and think about this is to look at the types of vertices in a graph. So in a graph, we have a vertice that's a start. You have to start somewhere and you have to end somewhere. And then there are vertices in between. So we'll call that the middle vertices. So that's the idea, and, and of course, there are cases where A and B can equal each other. So we can start at A, go to a bunch of vertices in the middle, and then eventually come back right, to our original point. In that case, A would equal B. So there are cases where the start and the end are exactly the same thing. And uh, I guess we could also say that there are graphs where the start, middle, and end are the same, all the same thing, or just one point but we're not going to look at that. We're going to look at these two cases right here. So, so how do we do that? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to analyze the middle. Not so much the start and the end, but what must happen in the middle. So let's say we're starting uh, at A, right? And to get to B, well, we have to cross some type of path. And if you look here, notice how this middle vertice has a degree of 2. And the idea is that every vertice in the middle, no matter how we really design this graph, and we can make it very complicated, but really what you have to do for every vertice is you have to come into the vertice, and then you have to leave the vertice. So it's in and out for every vertice in the graph. If you think about what that means, that means that every vertice in the middle, right, we're, saying, we're assuming that these vertices in the middle are not the end, they're just some part of the middle, that means you can't end at them, so you have to come into them and then leave them. And that's an even step process. It's a two-step process where you go in and out, in and out of a vertice. So all the vertices in the middle have to be even. So we can, we can easily establish that these are, are even, right? Because you must have traveled in and out of these vertices, otherwise they would have been the last point or the beginning point of, of the of the graph and they're not they're the middle so before we really approach this I just wanted to establish that yes every vertice in the middle of a graph has to be even and that gets us started on these ideas here that okay if you have a circuit not only will the the all the vertices in the in the middle be even but, but there'll be no vertices that are odd none of them they'll all be even and uh, for a path it's okay uh, to have two vertices, namely the beginning and end, that are odd, but not the middle. The middle has to always be even because of this idea that you're always going in and out of the vertices. And that is really fun because, I love that, because no matter how complicated our graph is, we can just think of each vertice as a simple process where you travel in and travel out. And that's true for every vertice in the middle. So everything in the middle is even. Even in this case here where you're returning to your original point, right? All these, these two vertices here are the middle vertices, so they're also even. And that sets us up for the next video. Where we're going to look at um, what about the beginning and ending vertices? Uh, what happens? And why do they have to either be even in a circuit or uh, odd in a path? All right, hope that helped.